Hello, this is Nitro, and we are back with a brand new game, Shapes. So this game is like a factory game, very minimalistic type situation. I really enjoy it. I've played it for about two hours, and then I started this profile for YouTube. Shout out to Enderwar, who recommended this to me, because I absolutely love this game. And uh, so basically the way it works is you just build these little conveyor belts you get. What I really like about this game is there's no money system. Instead, well there is a money system for blueprinting. But instead, you just have to find the most efficient ways to do things. I really enjoy it. So first we just have to load up this thing with all the circles and that just happened so now we need to cut circles in half so right now we can just delete things that we don't need but later we'll actually keep them so let's just repurpose this factory for cutting in half so we'll do this you put a trash can on this side and then this is going to cut the shape in half and that's basically the whole game, just cutting and pasting and stuff like that to shapes. There's going to be stuff like combining that will be introduced later, all kinds of interesting mechanics. But right now, it's just teaching us the basics. Now, you can't actually see your missions yet, it just shows you the main one. But eventually, we'll be doing more than just what it says here. While that's working, we can make more of these and just keep repeating the process. We don't have copying and pasting yet, but that will come at a later date. Not a later date, in an another level. By the way, who, who else thinks that Minecraft Legends was a ripoff of Fallen Kingdom? Because I certainly think so. Right now we're talking about shapes. Just thought I'd mention that since that's recent events. Anyway, so we did that. And so now if we look in here, it actually shows us multiple missions that can, we can do. So right now we do need circles, but we don't need half circles. So we'll just repeat the, uh, just remove everything. Oh, it doesn't let you remove everything that you selected? Or do you have to do it different? Cut. Um. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's just make the thing for circles. So we'll go like this. And then that's six, so... We'll just make a conveyor belt to six of these ports. I really enjoy this. I like the minimalism. Like just how simply nice it is. Oh my, let's just do it the regular way. There we go. And then we'll just keep doing this. There's a pretty good production of circles. So now let's go do it with squares. So soon we'll unlock combining uh, things, I believe they're called balancers, and that will allow us to um, take all the producers and put them onto one conveyor belt, or at least the max that that conveyor belt can hold, but right now you can't do that. Each producer has to have its own conveyor belt. There we go. So this will produce, and basically we just have to keep doing this. So just attach a conveyor belt here. Just anything to improve efficiency. There we go. Let's do another one here. Oh wait. 
we've hit our max. All right, so we do have the balancer now. So basically, we can just get rid of all this real fast. Yes, I'm fine with deleting it. And let's just check the missions again. All right, so we don't need circles right now, but we'll probably put another one into use. Right now, we're not keeping our factories for long because we're just going to be getting more ways to optimize them. So let's just do a system here where it goes to here, or no, like this. And then we'll just do this, this, this. Oh, this is actually going to interfere with the hub right now. We'll have to... uh I'd actually, if I got what I wanted, I would build it on a further away square thing. So let's just do it here instead. We'll put factories like this, then turn it around, do the same here, put one here for good use, good measure, turn this one around like so, then attach them all to their respective ports in the merger. Same on this side. And then attach all of these together. By the way, I have about two hours of experience on this game, so if you're wondering why I seem to know everything, it's like the basics at least, that's how. I've also watched a couple of YouTube videos. So let's just go straight up. And now, if you'll look, we have a conveyor belt spitting out about as many as it can. And so that should work extremely well for what we need it for. So let's just do the same with circles. Just take a merger. And now let's try the other method of merging, which would be this. And then we'll just turn these around, send them up. And now let's check what else we need to do. Uh, we make circles, half circles, and squares that are painted. I don't believe we can do anything but the circles and the squares. Oh, we can cut. All right. Do we need any more squares? Yeah, we can. So what we're going to do is it wants half squares. So we're going to take a balancer. Rotate it around, put in a cutter, and take the right half and just attach it straight up into here and put a trash can on the other side. Actually, no. Let's do it like this instead. There we go. That's better. Now, what have we unlocked? Oh, we got extraction now. So they want the top right corner. Have we gotten rotating yet? We need rotating, so I believe that's working. We could probably just do this all over again. So, like so. And I don't believe this trash can will interfere with anything. And then we'll just merge it here. And that should double the production of half squares. And I believe we have a few many producers here. So what we could do to raise efficiency is instead of doing it like that, we can put two belts, one to here. Sorry about my compulsivity. A lot of people say they discovered their obsessiveness with this game. Anyway, this should help the efficiency. We might be doing a little too much, but I don't mind overflow. Because, like, nothing costs, so you don't have to make sure it's perfect. So, I think what we'll do, I don't think it's right to uh, just go away from keyboard for these things, so we are going to 
do something. Actually, this thing's about ready. Alright, so we unlocked rotators. So, now what we can do is make everything that we need. We'll start with circles. So, it wants the top half a circle and the bottom half of the circle. We'll do those first, and then we'll try with the top right corner piece. So, let's grab this. We'll just... Actually, no. What we'll do is... How many does this do? 0.5 items a second, and this does 0.6. So we can do one cutter for each one. That will mean spreading these out a good bit. And then, like so. That won't work. Here, why don't we just do it to the left? That might work. So we're just going to put conveyor belts like so. This is going to be really overpowered, I think. Anyway, I also saw that they're working on a Shapes 2, so whenever that comes out, that'd be a lot of fun. Anyway, so we're just going to work on cutting all these shapes in half. How fast does the rotator work? It can go two items a second, so we can probably just put like two of those on this whole system. Alright, so now we're getting left halves and right halves of circles. So, I believe we need three for the right halves. And that will bring them out as top halves, which is what we want. And then we'll do, actually, what we'll do is so we can fulfill both missions. Let's do it, just do it where we do both top halves and bottom halves. So let's just put rotators all the way up. I know this also probably isn't the most efficient design, but it's what we're going to do for now because it's easier to build. And then just do this so that they get on the same line there. And just bring this all the way around to here. There we go. So now we have top halves and bottom halves being delivered at a very rapid speed. We could be improving the efficiency of this thing. Let's see. So it's not limited by the speed of this thing so we could probably just do another cutter here and then do it like that put a balancer before it just so that way we're as efficient as it gets we could also use actually let's revise this we could probably use rotators to improve this design so Let's just do it to where this is for the regular ones, this is for the irregular ones. Oh, whoops, wrong way. This is for the regular ones, the other one does the irregular ones. So, we're looking for right halves. So, if we put two rotators on the left side, it will become a right side. So, like so. And now we have two right halves coming out. And we can probably do the same twice before it gets old. So let's just do that. Bring this up. Another one here. Two rotators. And our tracks. Oh. Actually, this would be more efficient if we just did. This probably isn't the most efficient, but still. This is more than the other design. There. Perfect. So that's processing half squares and full squares. It looks like we're going at max speed on everything. We almost have enough top halves. How about bottom halves? No. 
All right, we've got tunnels. Do we have paint? No, just tunnels. So tunnels are going to be useful for getting around our own conveyors. We can do top rights. Yeah, I forgot about top rights. Uh, we have these circle things going. How backed up are they getting? All right, so technically we could just bring the top right production from here, but that would mean making them so that they're all in one orientation or we could just take from here all right i think i know what to do no i don't uh hmm sorry these things take a little bit to think about if we were to cut them all in half that wouldn't work so why don't we just take another circle production plant just to make it easy on ourselves because since you have unlimited resources, you don't have to be hyper-efficient, just incredibly efficient. So, this is eight resources, resource collectors. We're just going to put them all in a line to hopefully make it easy on ourselves. Like so. Alright, is this... Yeah, it's perfect. So, now we just pull one up here. I'm actually doing a lot better than I expected. So, I don't know why we need the ba balancers. We should actually have one for each thing. So, let's go this. And we'll try like this. This. I don't know why we would do this, but hopefully we'll get a design that works. So... We need to process each of these through a cutter one more time. So we'll need one, two, three. Wait, I think that could stay. Hopefully. And one rotation on this one. Just put a tunnel here. And that makes these both into tops. So if we take this and we do like so. That would make it so that there. And then we just take this one, do the same design. The one rotator here. And now they're ready. So this is one section. We probably want to route this to the hub first. That way we can get at least some form of production. That's one complicated design. I don't even know if I understand it. Well, let's just route the pipe over here. Go like this. Actually, no, that won't work. Let's do... Uh, up. Left. And then up again. So now we have a pipe going directly from there. Now we'll just try repeating this design, hopefully, and it should work, so... Alright, so this won't work, I just realized. So let's just try... Oh, a new upgrade? What? Does that give us anything? I don't realize what it's supposed to be giving me. Alright, so I think what we'll have to end up doing, it's probably not the wisest decision, but we're going to have to do something like this. Or no, even worse. Let's just try to remove this and make as many as we can. Stacked. Let's just put a second producer here. It takes three blocks. So instead of trying to make it super compact, let's just do multiple of them. RRR. There we go. So we need a cutter here. Cutter here. Oh, we put it one too close. There. So, we need a cutter here. Cutter here. Cutter here. Yes. Now, we need rotators here, 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 and here. One up here. And one after this. So, we also need mergers here, here, and here. And then we need tunnels going here, here. 
Actually, there's no real reason for this tunnel. Now, I know certain tunnels help your frame rate and whatnot, but we're just gonna, for the sake of making it easier to see the process, do it like this. So, now all you need to do is route this conveyor belt into here. We have twice the production. And I believe, let's check the cutter, it does slower than the producers, so that's about as fast as it's gonna go. Now what else do we need? We haven't unlocked painting just yet. And we have these in production. Let's go get some stars. I believe if the seeds are the same. No, they aren't. Well, let's go for this star vein over here. So we're just going to build a starter mine. Go as many as we can just so that way we don't have to come back here if we don't remember. So let's just do like this, and then do the regular steps. Do the same here. And then put a merger here. Good. So now all we have to do, one there, there, there. And that should work. That should be functional. Uh, this is facing the wrong way. Good. So now all you have to do is go straight back home. Whoops. All the way home. And down. And here we are. And because I'm compulsive, we'll do this before the stars make it here. Good. So we have those. So what else can we do while we wait? We've got all the squares we need, so we could probably repurpose one of those. Do we have the top and bottom halves of circles? We don't actually need top halves anymore. So, let's actually repurpose this. So, take all the ones that are producing bottom halves, and rot rotate them twice. Or make the ones that do top halves. Alright, so the top halves, we have to rotate twice. So let's just do one, two... One, two, one, two, just every other one do like so. There we go. Now we just take conveyor belts, close the gaps here. Now, one second. I'm so compulsive with this game, but I think I'm not the only one. Anyway, let's just take these, place them in a row like so. And then do the same up here. I can't wait till we get that second version of the merger or the balance. The what? What do you call it? The balancer. There we go. And that should be good. Now, how fast is our top right circle half production going? Oh, I didn't finish the design. Whoopsie. Good thing I noticed that you were all probably screaming at the screen telling me that I was doing it wrong. Like, Nitro, it's all messed up. But there we go, we're producing... Are we producing fast? Is it just that it's backed up, or are we actually producing fast? Alright, that's pretty good. So, we'll have painting in no time. Also, there's variants of blocks that we can do. I think we'll just wait till something happens. Alright, so it looks like the top right halves are about done, and we have an upgrade available. Uh, we need more stars, so that's going fine. We unlocked the painter, so that will allow us to make these blue half squares. So, we could steal from this production, which, since we only have two cutters, we definitely could do. So let's just minimize this a bit. So, and just give it two, because that's all it needs. I believe that's all it needs. Now, what we're going to do with the other one, and are these thrown away? No. Good. So we're just going to take this one and uh, feed it to two cutters the same way. So let's just copy the design, so we need cutter here, 
cutter here. One second, two rotators here, here, and up here. Now we need one of these here and here, and one straight up from there. I just need to attach everything. Alright, so all we need now is a, um, what do you call it, painter. So, it does 33 items a second, which means we'll need three to accommodate the load here. So, I'm pretty sure for a painting module, you need like one, two, three, maybe. I don't know the exact proportions for the distances. We're just going to go with this. Now... I don't know the way we're going to fit all this in. So let's just try. Actually, if we move the painters forward, that might help. So let's do a painter here, here, and here. So now let's just take a splitter here. And now we should have it all outputting to each of the painters. Good, so now I believe they needed to be blue, so we need to ship in some blue paint. We have another upgrade. What is it? Uh, it didn't tell me. I guess it's just one of those speed upgrades. Let's do, uh, let's just get a lot of blue because why not? Get some mergers. We'll do the good old stepladder type. Like so because we have room for it. Just attach all these here. There, and take this. And so this is where tunnels actually become useful. Uh, we'll have to put in the other variant of pa painting. So let's do like so. Push it up against this rail. Rotate it. Place it outputting here. We'll take the painters, we'll switch the variant to the other half one. There we go. So, for the blue paint, we're going to set it up so that there's a merger here, I believe. And then one leads straight in, the other leads to an output. Alright, so I think I'm doing this right. And then another merger or balancer here hey i did it right i'm actually better than this game at this game than i expected and then this one we'll do the tileable method here as well i only watched like two hours worth of youtube videos on this game and now let's just take this and create a three-way input so we can just merge this all back into one belt. This game's so satisfying. I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit. I wasn't sure how much I'd actually do on this one, this game, but as we get more game mechanics, it should only get better. So let's just route the blue half squares. We're doing so well right now. All right, so we need the weird jellyfish ones. I believe we need like a tile or something for that. So we'll just wait on that. I believe there's like official names that you're supposed to call them by, but I'm just calling them by what I think. What do we need? Uh, we couldn't, we can't make the yellow ones cause we don't have color mixing. We do need more stars. Uh, I feel like considering that this is probably producing way more than it could. We'll route a second one here. Like so. And then... Just, hey, three reds. Actually, we can do that. And let's see how much this actually helps. Oh, so it's still producing at max speed, even on with two rails. All right, so this is doing better than I thought. So red circles. So technically, since we don't need 
those circles we wouldn't we could just steal from here but i don't feel like doing that or we could maybe let's see what do we have here all right so i thought about it for a second and i believe all we have to do is take this output and turn it into a red circle painter thing so We'll do the same sort of design I did for the painters. I believe it was three apart. It could maybe be two apart, but I'm not going to risk it. We'll source our red from down here or over there. So we probably will put the painters orientated to the left. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six sources. So that means six times six times six is 36. So that'd be three and a half, three and a little more than a half. So that would mean we need six, 12, six, nine, and then two more, I think. So that would make 11. So let's just do that. So we need one, two, three. All right, I'm not going to count. That's five. I'm not sure we can even output at that speed. Does a belt even go that fast? No, a belt only goes at four items a second, so we need three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. How many items a second? Four. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven. So this game teaches you multiplication. Twenty-seven. So I believe, yeah, we can go all the way for 11. 1, 2, I might be doing the math wrong, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 and 11. So now let's just get our belts routed to this one. We don't have the different variants, variants of the merger, so we'll just have to go very primitive. So that means like so, and then like so here every time. And now we should have the basic design for our painter system. One thing I like is as you're working on this, your other factories are doing what they're supposed to do. So let's just string all these together and then take this. Soon we'll unlock the other variants and we won't have to deal with this. And then just bring this all the way across. So that should feed circles to these things as fast as it can go. So now we just need red. Just lots of red. And we have red up here, so... Let's just get as many sources of this as we can. Six should be fine. And take the merger. We'll do the stair step style. Just cause. And then we'll do rails all the way up. And then we'll bring the color down here. So the way we do this, I believe, is Oh, wow, we're already getting some. All right. Uh, we need to split it and send one into the tunnel and send one into the painter itself. So let's do like so. Then, all right, so we're going to have to tile this. So let's just do... Oh, whoops. Did I do that wrong? Yeah, I think I did. So it's going to be RR, like so, in, out, in, out, all the way down. Wow, I'm actually doing this pretty fast. Let's just fix this real fast. And continue the pattern. And then... To make this tileable, we'll do that. 
So now all we have to do is stretch a rail all the way through here. Actually, no, we don't actually. We just need to place bouncers here. Now we place the rail. So the rail just goes here, or the conveyor, sorry. It goes like so. Oh, they're going the wrong direction. Whoops. Like that. Like that. Oh, one here. One here. Wait, why aren't we getting any spheres? There we go. And then just send these up. This is amazing. I really enjoy this game. It's incredibly satisfying. And yes, now we're making red spheres. Now, I might not have done this the most efficiently. I still don't know. But let's just pretend we did. We'll do... So I don't know how we could run mergers. Let's just do this. There. And take the conveyor thingies. Place one here. 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 All the way up. And I guess this will be how we merge the sphere production into our main rail. This is so much fun. One thing I like is you can repurpose old factories somewhat easily even before you unlock blueprints. So there, now we have pretty fast sphere production. So now we have to do is send it up here. And what do you know, there's a port ready and waiting. Let's see how fast this does it. Oh, I just realized a mistake I made. You're not really, this is wrong. I'm pretty sure if you paint them before you cut them, it goes much faster. So we will definitely be repurposing this. I think we'll actually make a new one and then just replace it when we manage to do it. So uh, let's just find a new vein to work with. Let's do here. And we'll take our source blocks and rotate them. Do five here, a lot there. So let's just combine these. We'll do here, 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 and then we'll do here, here, and not there. Then all we have to do, I believe, is take this one and nice, we got color mixing, so after we build a better half-square production facility. Yes, well, we kind of have a decent one right now. Let's scrap this for now, because we'll deal with it later. So, it wants purple circles, which is easy enough, indeed. Oh, we will have to improve that, I guess. So, let's just get the purple circles in production. So, for that, we'll need... Well, what do you need for blue? You need... So, I know the primary colors, but not a light. So, it's red and blue for light. So, we'll need circles, which are here, and these two over there. So, where can we get a circle from that's near two veins of blue and red? Here we go. So, let's just set up the circle production... 0.8 items a second, that's plenty. Let's just set up 8. So we'll do it like so here. Mergers. Whoops, wrong way around. This game's so satisfying. Alright, and so now we have circles in production. And fast. So now, I would take the blueprint for the uh, paint, but we don't have those. Let's just get our brown and our, our, our red. Then we'll just do four color mixers. One, two, two, three, four. And just run the conveyor. Actually, no, we'll have to, we'll have to do this a bit awkwardly. So... We have to do this in a way that 
alternates them. So let's do it to where we merge these into one conveyor belt. Same with this. Whoops, wrong way around again. Like so. And then rotate here. And so now there are two outputs. And then we'll put these top and bottom. And then take the color mergers. Put them two apart because I think that would work. We'll do four because why not? We can probably improve the efficiency later. So we'll just do where one type goes up and the other one goes like so. Yeah, this ought to work. All right, so now all we have to do is get the blues going. So I believe for that we can just do something like this where blues go in, tunnel here. And we are getting a little bit low on time. I've gone way longer than I expected to. So I'll just show you the finished product. All right, so we have the paint, the purple paint in production. So now I'm going to build the paint, paint, painting area. Sorry. And uh, then we'll be done. All right. So I finished probably the best purple circle plant that you could have. I don't know if my color mixer is fast enough, but you know what? It produces as 11 painting modules to three mixers. I'm sure that's unbalanced. But you know what? We're going to go for it. So... Let's just make our way down to the hub. And then this way. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Oh, so. All right, so I think I have to hold shift, move. So hold shift, move, release. All right. And then we'll just move up and around, I believe. Oh, I'm tired of this. Just do it the old-fashioned way. And I'll tell you once we have this rooted home. And let's just make sure the purple circles are going. And let's actually check. What's it look like here? Is it still producing? Wow, it's producing incredibly fast. So I think that's going to call it for this episode. I absolutely love this game. I will see you on the next episode. I've been Nitrofield505. Later. Bye.